My name is Vid. I am from Lithuania and I'm currently studying at the University of Edinburgh. And I'm entering my second year of the PhD working on a project about how school teachers in Scotland find, use and share educational resources online. So especially during COVID, it became much more visible what impact online education has. There are like thousands of materials, thousands is probably an understatement, that are available online to share. And in countries with structured curricula, most schools have to teach the same topics if from different angles or a bit of freedom. But nevertheless, the resources should be reusable from place to place. However, this isn't easy because quite often trying to find something on a particular topic or presented in a particular way is trying, like trying to find a needle in a large haystack of resources. So I'm looking at how do people do that? And do they do it? And what can we do to make it better? Some of the previous research that I've been looking into has researched how to make educational resource repositories, or sometimes they're also called open educational resource repositories if those resources are licensed with open licenses. Now, this is one of the potential solutions, and I think there's great promise in ongoing works. There's this project Encore Plus, which looks at how do various institutions do this across Europe. However, I'm not sure repositories are the right answer. After all, that's just one kind of solution. So in my research, I want to see what do teachers do in practice, and are there other ways that we can help them make the process easier. So my plan right now, I am looking for participants to join me for online interviews, uh, people who work with the Scottish curriculum specifically, and they want to do a kind of interview slash observation study where first they tell me where do they find resources online? How do they use them? Do they share them? And if so, how or why or why not? Um, but then I also want them to show me in practice so that it's not all just theoretical talk. So I'm hosting these online interviews over Teams um, where with screen sharing, people can show me what do they use online and how do they do it. And then after the interview stage, I plan to put together a list of what do teachers currently use in practice? Um, what are the strengths and weaknesses of the tools they use? Could they be combined differently? Um, are there any tools out there by reviewing what exists? Um, are there any tools out there that would be useful but teachers don't use? If so, why? And after this stage, I will be building using a design-based research cycle prototypes that I would evaluate with participants. So the idea is to try and build software incrementally based on what is currently out there, what is and isn't being used, and what could be better. I think. The most important part that I've been finding out was like the importance of talking to different people and networking. It has shaped my project quite a lot because when I started out with my project, initially I was going to work on one about generating keywords for educational resources on educational resource repositories. A lot of them don't have metadata like keywords assigned, but using the appropriate natural language processing techniques it should be feasible to generate them automatically. However, um, after speaking to quite a few people who had worked in this area, this question came up like, OK, we're improving resource repositories, but are repositories what teachers really need? This has very much changed the trajectory of my project, so networking was a key part of it.